Hey guys, happy Tuesday. Uh, I wanted to reach out to you guys today and kind of talk about a story that hit me this week from one of our patients. Uh, it's a lady that I've been taking care of for a long time and uh, she recently came back in and I was chatting with her about how things have been going. She's a teacher for Columbus and they recently had big talks about whether they were going to return to school, be virtual, the union's pushing so hard for everybody to stay at home and she was fighting like crazy not to stay at home because she wanted to be back in the classroom with the kids. Not because she was sick of being at home, because she knew what an impact it would make to these kids to be back in the classroom. And they called her scab and union buster and they were calling her all these nasty things. But the bottom line is that was not her motivation. When I talked to her deeper about it, she told me that she knows four kids. Uh, she's been teaching for 21 years. Uh, four kids between the students she's taught and her own son that have killed themselves this year, committed suicide. I think we all know how stressful and crazy this year has been, but I also think that we underestimate how powerful it is that we've kept our doors open and we've maintained that level of passion and normalcy that no one else is doing. You know, people are closing down their shops, people are requiring vax cards and all this other bullshit. The bottom line is, People like her, people like us, are some of the only people that are maintaining hope out there. And every time that we come into that office with that energy, every time we give somebody a sense of presence and calm with our interactions, with our adjustments, when we get in there, we are the hope. We are the change. And, you know, so often, you know, that old saying, you know, become the change that you want to see in the world, we're some of the only people that are doing that. So as you guys are going through today, and as we're interacting with our patients, I want you to really realize and focus in that we are the people who are keeping things normal. We are the people who are spreading hope. We are the people who are keeping things at a place where people aren't getting so depressed that they don't know if they wanna live anymore. It may sound like a crazy thing, but every time that we hug a patient, touch a patient, shake a patient's hand, give them a sense that things in the world are healthy and natural and they should be it's what our adjustment does it's what our vitalistic philosophy says we are having an impact that's greater than maybe even we imagine so this week again as we're going out there every interaction every person you're with make sure that you're conveying to them that full presence that full passion and know that every person you put your hands on you're changing their lives let's get after it today let's go guys